The key thing that attracted us to Jezero Crater is that there was once a lake in it, and we want to investigate the deposits that were left over from that lake when it dried up. We have a very capable rover. We will be able to drive something like 100 meters every day. It may not sound like very much, but on Mars, that's a fantastic clip to be covering the ground. And we will do the science when we stop. The rover has the capability to determine its route without us being involved. We call that autonomous navigation. There are many hazards we need to stay away from in the crater. There are cliffs and large rocks, and especially there are sand dunes. Sand dunes are a known way to lose a rover, so we will stay out of the sand dunes. One of the major objectives of the Mars 2020 mission is to collect about 40 samples and we will leave them on the surface of Mars for a future mission to pick up. That's a very complicated task. It's too complicated for us to do it. So a future mission may come and pick up those samples and launch them back to Earth.